Welcome. Most, if not all of you, probably have a favorite animal. And so most, most, of those, most of those animals you've probably seen inside of a zoo. How do you feel about those animals inside a zoo? Today, I'll be going over what, whether zoos are good for, whether zoos are bad for animals or do we make them bad. How zoos can help save the animals from extinction. And how zoos can, how, how we can learn more about animals from inside the zoos. In some places, zoos keep animals in bad conditions, so they don't. So animals have barely any room to be, even turn around. But there are many other places that allow them to have that big open space. Zoos sometimes are smaller to be able to keep animals in a confined place so they can keep watch over them just in case they get injured or stuff like that. And in some of the zoos, enclosures are sometimes bigger and the zookeepers put their food in different locations so that the animals have the ability to be able to hunt for their food instead of just being fed. And so they can somewhat keep their wild instincts. And while those animals are in the zoos, it can also, uh, we can teach them new behaviors that they would probably never be able to use out in the wild. Now we're going to talk about the why. According to a recent United Nations assessment, roughly one million plant animal species are becoming more and more closer to becoming extinct. And zoos and aquariums are should be wanting to get more points than the, for the conservationists, but they're losing conservationists and it's becoming a bad thing because zoos can be helpful. According to YouGov poll between 2007 and 2017, a child born today that would grow up to be around 80 would see about ha over half the species alive today become extinct. And on that graph, you can see a bunch of different animals that are becoming more closer to being extinct. Now we're going to talk about the how zoos can help us learn more about species. Zoos use something called stud books, which are handwritten documents that tell us more about species that are in the zoos. And they can tell us about, the, about, zoo, about animals and what their behaviors are and how it changes from wildlife to the zoos. The stud books lately have been turning, have, we've been more going to electronically, and they turn into big data, which can compile their information into electronic databases called Species 360. And data from 4,700 animals from 4,800 species are kept in 458 zoos worldwide. And that's a lot of information that would never be able to be kept possible without these stud books. Today, I went over why animals, how zoos are bad or why zoos are bad, or why or do people make them bad? How zoos can help animals from kept from being extinct, and what, how zoos can help us learn more about the animals. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, and I hope 
I persuaded you to see why zoos are good for animals.